Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. Today we shall discuss all the formulas of class 6th math, chapter 6 perimeter and area. And this is from the new textbook Ganit Prakash that was released last year in 2024, NCRT new textbook. So first we will learn what is the definition of a perimeter. Perimeter of any closed plane figure is the distance covered along its boundary. That is the sum of of the lengths of its all sides. If you add up all the side lengths, that is the perimeter, the boundary of any plane figure. Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into length plus breadth or we can say 2 into L plus B. L is for length and B is for breadth. Here you can see a rectangle. This is the length or we can say L and this is the breadth or B. Okay. So 2 into length plus breadth. Perimeter of a square. This is a square. All four sides are equal. Is equal to 4 into length of a side. Or we can say 4 into S. That is 4 into side. Perimeter of a triangle is equal to sum of the lengths of its three sides. So say this is 3 centimeters and this is 4 centimeters and this is 5 centimeters. If I want to find out the perimeter of this, then I will say perimeter is equal to 3 plus 4 plus 5. So 3 plus 4 plus 5. 5 plus 4, 9. 9 plus 3, 12. So that's 12 centimeter. The perimeter is 12 centimeter. Perimeter of an equilateral triangle is equal to 3 into length of a side. Equilateral triangle means all the three sides are equal. So for that the formula is 3 into length of a side. Area of a rectangle is equal to length into width. Width is nothing but breadth. Width and breadth is the same thing. Right? So length into width or we can write L W that means L into W. Area of a square is equal to side into side. Area of a triangle there is no formula given in your textbook. You need to use the grid paper to find out the area. Area is generally measured in square units that is square meter, square kilometer, square centimeter, anything. So square units. So these are the formulas which are given in your chapter 6 perimeter and area and we will be solving the problems in our upcoming videos. Thank you.